folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's question comes in right here in this card from a user. So it talks about, okay, should I get an IT certification or degree, assuming a degree like in computer science, computer information systems, or management information systems? So which one is better? How do you decide? And you know, how does this impact data engineers? So this is a really great question. I've got some really interesting thoughts on this. So let's dive into that question and then stick around for the end and I'll tell you which one I think is better or if I choose one, you find out all after this. So today's question, we're talking, if you have a question, make sure you put it in the comment section here below. But we're talking about, okay, if you're a data engineer looking to you know, jumpstart your career, or maybe you're even trying to shift, what should you do? There's so many different options and so many paths. So should you run and pursue maybe getting a new degree? Like, so if you had an art degree or you didn't have a degree before, or if you're in high school and you're looking to get you know, into data engineering, what's the correct path? Do I need to go to college or can I get an IT certification? So let's go through some of those options and then we'll talk a little bit about you know, the, the specifics around each one. And I'll give you some recommendations around where I kind of see the market trending. So first, you know, the first option is IT certifications. So when we think about IT certifications, think of like AWS's solution architect or, you know, AWS's, you know, data engineering or big data specialty. Google Cloud's got one for data engineering. Cloud has got one. We've talked about a lot of those different options here on this um, show, Big Data Big Questions. So, you know, are those certifications going to help you get into, you know, data engineering? And if you can only choose one, is, is that what you do? Well, you need to step back and think about it a little bit. So one thing, if you're not familiar with um, tech, tech and IT, certifications sometimes get into a religious battle, right? And I don't mean religion as in like religion. We're not talking that about that on here. But people get really pivoted in their decision on if, an, if a certification is good or not good, right? Like, and it probably falls somewhere in the middle. Like some people think that, hey, you know, it's really bad. Like all you're doing is practice and memorization and learning all these things that maybe don't have real world environment and you're not really solving solutions. Some of that can be the case, right? Like you see, you know, you've, you've, you've seen a lot of things where people have a lot, of, a lot of really good paper credentials, but they didn't have the experience. Then also on the other side, you look at it and, you know, I've got all these certifications, so I'm a master of, you know, whatever technology you're using, right? Hadoop or, you know, even TensorFlow. I don't think TensorFlow has any certifications just yet, but you see what I'm saying? Like, so you have these two opposing views. It's probably somewhere closer in the middle. The reason that I like certifications to be used as a good tool is it gives you an industry standard, right, of what you need to know for certain technologies, right? Like they're, it's so hard to keep up and learn and know what you want to know what you need to know and then learn new features as they come, right? Like, you know, AWS or Google Cloud or Azure, they're always, you know, continuing to add new features. So with Splunk and, you know, the, the list just continues to go on. So a certification can give you that basis for, hey, these are the things that, you know, we think is a standard that you should learn. Now, is it a little bit of a money grab sometimes? Do, do you feel that way? Yeah, a, a, a little bit, but I mean, it takes time to create, you know, the content and create the test for this. So, you know, you, if you want to hold up a, you know, some kind of standardization for the test, then it does, then it does take that. So, um, my opinion, like I said, is, is, is a little bit in the middle, right? Like, I don't think that you have to get a certification, you know, even if, you know, even, even if we're not talking about degrees versus certification, I don't think you have to have a certification to, to, to get, to get a career or to get a job. Um, some places, you know, it's kind of the open standard, right? Like, uh, I've seen before, especially when we talk in security, there's some base level security certifications that you really have to get to kind of, to kind of get in the door and make sure that everybody's kind of on the same understanding. So, like I said, it's, it can be one of those things where people are looking at it and it's kind of a battle where like people are stuck in their own position. But for the most part, I think certifications are good. And I think that, you know, they, they do bring value and they do help you uh, in your career or being able to move into careers. So next, what about a degree? So whenever we're talking about degrees, specifically, especially if we're talking about data engineers or machine learning engineers, we're probably more talking about like a computer science degree or management information system or a computer information system, or, you know, there are some new emerging degrees we've talked about, you know, with data engineering or even in the data science realm, but we'll keep it here closer to uh, data engineers, but we're probably talking about one of those. So, you know, used to be the standard, right? That was, you know, kind of, hey, you have to have a degree to get into here to, to have a career. And that's kind of broken back a little bit. Um, I think, you know, we can look back at an article here that we found where, you know, 
Google, Apple, and Facebook have all kind of dropped that certification. A lot of other companies too, kind of breaking the mold saying, hey, you don't have to have a degree to, you know, to, to have an entry, you know, not even entry level job, but to, you know, kind of move in and, and kind of, you know, move towards your career. So it's a great opportunity now where you're just kind of seeing that, but you know, tr traditionally that was it. You went, you went to high school and then you went to college, you got your degree and then you got your first job. And that's kind of how, you know, it, it was seen, seemed to work there for, you know, majority of people like it, it you know, there were still different paths and different uh, things that went into it, but that's kind of how it was seen. So, you know, there's been a break in the mold for that. And there's so many different ways. I mean, we're just, we're talking about certifications. We're talking about degrees now, but there are boot camps and other things that can help you with that degree or help you with that process to get your first, to land your first job. So, you know, that's, that's kind of where we're seeing it. So, you know, I'll tell you from my specific path, I did go back and I did, you know, I, I did finish my degree in computer information system and I went on and actually got an MBA and did it in uh, information systems as well. And it was, you know, it's a personal decision just like any of these others. I found a lot of value in it. And then part of it too for myself is, you know, I had started off, you know, down the path of going to college and it was just one of those things that I hadn't finished. And so it took me a little bit longer. I wasn't a traditional student, but I went back and I finished just because it was one of those things I kind of had out there. And I felt like, you know, I left it unfinished for me and I wanted, I wanted to finish it. And I was trying to move into a career of more software engineering versus uh, where I, you know, where I was at the time I was actually um, a bartender. So, um, you know, it was one of those things, you know, started off, started off in school, took some time off and can, uh, decided to go back. And I found that very valuable for me, but it doesn't mean that that's the only path. So we talked about the differences between getting an IT certification that, you know, not so much of a huge uplift or traditional, if you think about a four year degree. So, you know, how do, how do, how do those uh, kind of compare to each other and which one would get you into being data engineer the fastest? I, I don't think that you can really answer that because I think there's so many different paths. IT certifications are one, but it's not a guarantee. Degrees are one, but it's not a guarantee. There's also boot camps out there. You know, there's, there's ways to get involved, which I've talked about a lot where, you know, getting involved with blogging, you know, answering questions on uh, forums, but just being involved in the community too, that can help you lead into it, you know, involved in uh, the open source space. So there's a lot of different paths that can get you there. But if, you know, if, we can all find our different ways to get get from that perspective, but using a combination of the both is probably going to be one of them, right? Like, you know, if you have a degree, then you you can maybe, you know, if you have that degree in computer science and you've shown an interest in that and you've also been involved in open source, that can be a path, right? If you go to a boot camp and maybe get a certification, that can be a path. But, I mean, you can also get a certification and probably, you know, land into an entry-level position as well. So there's many different journeys. I don't want it to be where one of these things where, hey, you go in and you're like, hey, man, I have to get this degree or I have to get this certification or I have to do both. There's, there's so many different ways to get in. The most important thing is have a goal and start, you know, taking actions toward that goal too. So that's it for today on big data, big questions. Please let me know if I'm wrong on this topic, right? Like, what do you think? What do you see as the market, right? Like, do you have to have a degree? Am I totally wrong? Right? Is it, is it just Apple and Google and Facebook, but everybody else is still saying that you have a degree? I don't think it's that way. I think it's kind of breaking, breaking apart, but let me know, let me know where I've been wrong on this or what your opinion is on the topic. Put it in the comment section here below. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to put it in here and I'll do my best to answer it on the next episode of big data, big question.